In 20 through 38, determine whether the statement is true or false. Justify your answer with a proof or a counterexample as appropriate. In each case, use only the definitions of the terms and the assumptions listed on page 161, not any previously established properties. For every integer n, if n is prime, then negative one to the n equals negative one. Now I will say in general that if you raise negative one to the power of an odd integer, then this would be true. Like negative one cubed is negative one, negative one to the fifth power is negative one, negative one to the seventh power is negative one, and so on. However, there is one prime number that is even. In particular, we're gonna consider the case when n equals two, which is prime. However, negative one to the n is negative one times negative one, or negative one squared, which is positive one, which does not equal negative one. So n equals two would be considered a counterexample because n equals two satisfies the premise of this conditional statement, but does not satisfy the conclusion of this conditional statement. Therefore, this statement here is false. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.